Uh, they are in, in the North Texas Conference. Uh, I have received uh, uh, many letters, uh, many telegrams, uh, uh, a number of resolutions adopted by various church uh, uh, official boards and uh, uh, church local boards of Christian or commissions of just Christian social concern. Uh, they're, they're already beginning to come in uh, to our office and uh, to me personally. Yes. Of course, the possibility of the presence coming to TCU has required us to make two separate uh, commencement program plans. We have uh, one program ready, or will be ready if he comes, and we'll have another one which looks very similar on the outside if he doesn't come. The insides will be a little bit different. Uh, if the president comes, the band, uh, our TCU symphonic band, will be uh, prepared to play Hail to the Chief. and. Uh, of course, we'll, they'll also be playing the national anthem uh, during the commencement. Uh, if he does not come, uh, the only thing different in the band's preparation will be that they will not play Hail to the Chief. The uh, graduates are going to walk across that stage, though, and receive their diplomas, regardless of whether the president comes or not. Well, being from Kansas City myself, knowing what this type of thing can do for a local area, I really think it's a shame that two cities weren't lucky enough to get it. What do you think we should do? Should we form a third league? I think Dulles and Fort Worth uh, maintain enough power and prowess to do this, yes. I really do. You think they got a rotten break? Not a rotten break. As far as uh, the Judge Hoffowitz and uh, Houston, yes, they did. If he was the only one that was opinion against it, yes, they did. I think in reality they were doing Mr. Hunt and Mr. Mercer a favor in denying them a National Baseball League franchise because at the $10 million price, which they were contemplating, I think he saved them a lot of money because I think the greed with which in recent years especially that the owners of baseball franchises in both the American and National League uh, is it's so keen and so great that they've priced it so high as to make it uh, impossible for a, an investor, owner, to make uh, a return on his money. Well, I used to play baseball when I was a little kid and I thought it was really great, but they got ba football and all that stuff, why can't they have baseball? What should we do now? I think we should uh, forget about the whole thing because uh, if they don't want us, uh, I can say we don't want them. I think it's uh, disappointing that they should leave us out because uh, I think we do have a great area for baseball and uh, being an avid sports fan and with the tornado in town and uh, with the Cowboys, why not have uh, baseball? But they haven't, they haven't uh, decided to take us, so forget it. All right? All right. We have focused our attention on the, what we call the hammer in the sky. And this means the tremendous potential of turbulent weather associated with thunderstorms. Uh, inside a thunderstorm, there are forces equivalent to many times the Hiroshima bomb. And uh, in order to obtain accurate facts, we engaged and consulted with professional meteorologists. Uh, they have developed and prepared a study uh, showing what the area weather was on May 3rd, 1968. And basically, here is the substance of their report. A deviation of the flight path of Flight 352, which we assume was on or near J87, to the east would have avoided this severe thunderstorm cell and would have vectored the aircraft into an area relatively free of thunderstorms. A severe auto wreck, the first person on the scene is likely to be a policeman or a fireman, a non-medical person. In fact, the first person on the scene of most medical emergencies, when proper attention is very critical, will likely be a non-medical or paramedical person, a policeman, a fireman, an ambulance driver, industrial nurse, or engineer.
This demonstration by the Dallas Fire Department of the proper technique in the rescue of an injured person from an auto is only one part of several demonstrations of emergency rescues. It's part of a three-day course being presented by the faculty of the Texas Southwestern Medical School and the American College of Surgeons Local Committee on Trauma. Its purpose is to give advanced instruction for emergency rescue personnel involving the removal of treatment of victims en route to hospitals. The three-day session that began yesterday included first lectures on the handling of specific emergencies, from external cardiac massage to the handling of a psychologically disturbed person. Then today, the class has moved here to record crossing for the demonstrations and student field participation in such things as cardiac and respiratory resuscitation. The course, being attended by some 150 people, is unique, says Dr. Charles R. Baxter of the Southwestern Medical School, in that it covers almost all areas of concern to paramedical personnel involved in medical services. Hopefully, it will give the residents of the North Texas area a better organized, more efficient, and better trained staff of non-medical personnel in order to render the best possible chance for treatment of injuries. Dr. Baxter said that these people have been doing the best they could without us. Now, hopefully, we can improve their training. Simply put, the life they save may be your own. Teal Salon reporting.